Hi, we're here at the 2018 Work Truck Show. We're here with Tim Ellsworth. He is the manager of product planning for Isuzu Commercial Truck of America. And we're here today to do a walk around of the Isuzu FTR, this year's 2018 Medium Duty Truck of the Year winner. Tim? Thank you, Lauren. So this is a true class six truck. It's got a GVWR of 25,950 pounds. And I like to refer to this truck as kind of an end series on steroids. It's slightly taller, slightly wider, and uh, slightly longer than our end series product. So overall, when we walk up to this truck, the first thing that you're gonna notice is it's got an extremely large front end, an extremely large windshield, and that's gonna help out with the great visibility that we're all familiar with on the low cab forward vehicles. The next thing you might notice is how it resembles the end series. There's a difference here though. The front panel on this truck actually opens up, which allows us to gain access to service points for maintenance and other service aspects. The front grill portion is also removable to assist in the maintenance and service of this vehicle. Below that front grill, you're gonna notice it has a large steel white painted front bumper and that will be accommodated with two tow hooks on the front end. As I mentioned, the front panel on this truck lifts up and it gains access to service and maintenance points. So I'm gonna demonstrate that for you now. Uh, inside the cab door, similar to a passenger vehicle, you'll find the hood release or the front panel release. So we'll pop that up and then we'll take a step back around the front of the truck and uh, demonstrate how to access uh, some of these service points. As you can see, the front panel lifts up. There's a prop rod to support the front panel. And the first thing you might notice is the washer fluid reservoir. You'll also see items such as the treadle valve for the brake system, the windshield wiper linkage, some HVAC service points. And below the front panel, you can see there's a grill located here that's removable that'll gain extra access to other components underneath that front panel that might need to be accessed uh, under the cab, such as the HVAC components, electrical wiring, and other controllers. Now we're gonna take a walk, a walk around uh, the passenger side of the truck. So the FTR comes uh, standard with 96 inch wide mirrors to accommodate 96 inch wide bodies. The mirrors are retractable uh, and they do have detents so they'll stay in place when you, when you fold them back into position. On the FTR you're gonna see the upper flat glass and the lower convex mirror are separated. The standard mirrors for this truck are manual adjust, meaning that you'll come in here and adjust the mirror glass with your hands. Uh, there's no power to the mirrors or heat source. There is an optional heated version of the mirrors and two, a remote heated version of the mirrors. In which case, the heating element in the mirrors will be both to the flat glass and the convex glass. When we go to the remote heated mirrors, only the upper flat glass will be controlled by remote. Another option for the mirror system is a 102 wide mirror stay, which allows you to install 102 wide bodies and have the mirror arms stretched out a little bit further on the vehicle to gain the visibility that's required. At the front end here, what you're seeing is a 22 and a half inch wheel that is eight and a quarter inches wide and that's mated to an 11R 22 and a half inch tire. There's gonna be two options for this tire on the truck. One is a Bridgestone version, the other is a Continental version. Uh, both versions will come in a pattern of front highway and rear traction. Behind the front wheel, you're gonna see a Dana front axle rated at 12,000 pounds, and it's notable here that our axle hubs are oil filled. So this Dana front axle has a 50 degree inner wheel cut, and that's gonna allow for the excellent turning radius that all of our low cab forward vehicles are capable of. Next to the axle, you're gonna see the front suspension. It's a tapered leaf front suspension, also rated at 12,000 pounds, giving this vehicle an overall GAWR in the front of 12,000 pounds. So I'm gonna open the cab door on the passenger side. The first thing you're gonna notice about this truck when you open the cab is the fully trimmed inside of the cab. It's got three across seating. The driver and passenger seat both recline, but also the center seat folds down. And on the back side of that center seat is a work surface and also a storage compartment inside, similar to a glove box. On the floor of the truck, you'll notice there's heavy duty floor mats. They come standard as well. The truck comes with a front and rear grab handle to make ingress and egress a little bit easier for you. Up top, we have overhead storage compartments with doors on them. And one of the big things I like about this truck is it's got this extra large cab. So when you fold the seats down, you can notice in the back, there's a lot of extra storage space for all of your equipment or goods. Another optional piece of equipment that you're noticing looking in the back of the cab is the fire extinguisher and triangle kit. Again, an optional piece, but available as an OE component. Behind the cab, 
The first piece of equipment we like to talk about is the Donaldson single stage air cleaner. It's just an air canister filter, again, single stage. Behind that air cleaner, you're gonna see our compact SCR and DPF system. It's our exhaust after treatment system. Very similar to what we have on our N series. Behind the after treatment system, or the SCR and DPF, you're gonna see our battery box. The battery box does have a lockable clasp inside it. So if I open the top here, you can see that lockable clasp, and it's equipped with two batteries. They're 750 CCA Group 31 batteries, and they do have threaded post attachment points. You're going to notice that this is one of the larger wheelbases. The truck is available in eight different wheelbases, starting at the shortest wheelbase of 152 inches, moving up to the longest wheelbase at 248 inches. Within that wheelbase range, it's going to allow for bodies with a range of 14 foot on up to 30 foot. One of the first things that you'll probably notice if you're not familiar with it is the air brake system. Them. The brake chamber at the rear here. This is a full air service brake S-cam drum system with four-wheel ABS. The brake chambers are attached to a Dana rear axle. That axle is rated at 19,000 pounds and it's got a final ratio of 6.17. The suspension on the rear end is a bolted multi-leaf suspension and it's rated at 21,000 pounds. However, I mentioned that the rear axle is rated at 19,000 pounds so the overall rear end of this truck has a GAWR of 19,000 pounds. As I mentioned up front, uh, the tires on this truck, the front pattern is a highway pattern, and the rear pattern, as you can see here, is a traction pattern. As we get to the back end of this truck, you're going to notice that it has a near industry standard frame width of 33 and a half inches. At the back end of the truck, we have a bodybuilder connector to support all of the body application needs. The next piece of optional equipment I want to point out is our backup alarm. Again, another optional piece of equipment installed on this truck for your visibility. Just in front of the backup alarm in this optional piece is the primary air tank for the brake system. The drain valve for that air tank is actually on the other side of the vehicle and it's tethered just behind the rear axle. I'll demonstrate the tether on the secondary air tank when we get to the front of the vehicle. So on this truck you're going to notice this large aluminum fuel tank. This is a longer wheelbase so it's got a 100 gallon fuel tank on it. The two shorter wheelbases of our truck, the 152 and the 170 inch wheelbase, are going to be equipped with a 50 gallon tank. The longer wheelbases, starting at 188 inches, moving up to 248 inches, are going to be equipped with the fuel tank you're seeing here, which is a 100 gallon aluminum fuel tank. I mentioned the primary air tank at the back end. The secondary air tank is located inboard on the frame, just inside of the fuel tank. The tether that I mentioned for the drain valve is located here just in front of the fuel tank to be able to drain moisture out of the air tanks. In front of the fuel tank, you're going to notice the Bendix heated air dryer. Again, this is a full air brake system and we're using Bendix as our source. In front of the heated air dryer, you're going to notice our fuel sedimenter, which is also equipped with a priming pump in the event that you need to prime fuel to the engine. In front of the fuel filter or the fuel sedimenter is our 4.2 gallon heated DEF tank. It is also equipped with a DEF quality sensor to help prevent contaminants from getting into the DEF injection stream. From here, we've made our way back to the cab. So I'm going to lift the cab and show you the engine and transmission located underneath the cab. The FTR is equipped with our 4HK1TC diesel engine. It's a 5.2 liter diesel engine and it produces 215 horsepower and 520 pound-feet of torque. This engine has a 10,000 mile oil change interval and the overall vehicle comes with a 36 month unlimited mileage warranty. There is an optional warranty for engine and emissions that warranty is 60 month, 200,000 miles. The 4HK1 engine used on the FTR in this configuration is capable of providing you with anywhere from 8 to 10 miles per gallon depending on your driving habits. And this has been demonstrated through our IDSS service tool running health reports. Mated to the engine is an Allison 2550 RDS automatic 6-speed transmission. This transmission, being the 2550 RDS, is equipped with a parking pole. So on the transmission shifter in the cab, you're going to notice a park position. This transmission is also capable of PTO, so we're utilizing the left-hand PTO pad located here. From here, I'm going to close the cab, and we'll talk about the last portion of this truck from the driver's seat. We're going to go into the driver door now, opening the driver door. The first thing you probably notice on the driver's side is this fully adjustable air suspension seat. All FTRs come standard with an air suspension seat. Other features of the cab from the driver's side 
are the power windows and door locks. They come standard with air conditioning. They come standard with an AM, FM, CD, Bluetooth radio. Last but not least is our multi-information display, which provides the driver with all of the indications needed to operate this vehicle. Thanks for spending some time with me for the FTR walk around. The last thing I'd like to say is if you're interested in this vehicle, please stop by your local Azuzu dealer and take one for a test drive. Thank you again.